In 2018, the Federal Trade Commission received 3 million complaints of scams. Over at the FBI last year, they got 1.5 million complaints of just online fraud, with losses of $7.5 billion. Even though people of all ages and incomes are scammed, the group for whom the typical loss is by far the highest are people in their 80s. We're exploring the subject, which experts are now calling age-associated financial vulnerability, in our special series. It's titled Brains and Losses. The big question, how do we protect ourselves and our loved ones? Now, my suggestion is have the talk. This talk is about when and how a person would want help from people they trust managing their more day-to-day -day financial decisions. Here are some questions you might ask. As you get older, what are important things to you to spend your money on? If your family has to get directly involved with your money decisions, when do you want that to happen? And who's in that conversation? Now, here's one piece of the talk that I had with my own dad while he was visiting his old stomping grounds in Brooklyn. So let's talk here. The scam attempts are not going to slow down. They're coming into my phone, too. The phone rings, things come in. I mean, what are you going to do in the future up to keep absolutely sure that you're protected and don't lose money? Well, uh, two things. One is to continue to try to cut these people off before they even start. I think that's the simplest Don't thing. engage. Don't engage. Good, I think good strategy. do not engage. Yeah. I'm very skeptical of phone calls that uh, I don't know the person or I don't know. And um, so I often will say, I do not respond to unsolicited uh, phone calls. Yeah, you know. And you gotta watch specific. the emails too. Oh yeah, of course, the emails, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if I don't recognize the name and they have a button in which you can press and we'll say, if, do you, is this spam, do you wanna unsubscribe? So I often do that. Bringing up money issues and scam prevention before anyone's lost money is vastly easier than later when suspicions and perceived judgment can contaminate the conversation. The most important thing, a person should be encouraged to draw up a plan for managing finances later in life. And they should have support, so families be around, present, and available. My dad and I talk more about films and politics than we do about money, but it's good to know that if something ever came up, we're on the same page.